Hi guys, I'm Foggy. I'm username Kate and today we are at Bedford Autodrome and we are here with Bike Shirt riding some really eclectic vehicles, some things that you wouldn't necessarily expect on track, but we're here to give it a go, have some fun, rate them and take you along with us. Well said Kate, I couldn't have put yeah, it better myself. I'm a pro. <laughs> Well, Foggy, this is what we're taking. So what it's a trike golf buggy. Yeah, what we're do you gonna think? We're going to test it on a race circuit. Yeah, <laughs> why As not? As you do. You only live once, As Foggy. you do. <laughs> um, well, yeah, I guess it's quite practical for carrying your golf clubs on a, a golf course. But so. no, it, it certainly looks like interesting. I've never really ridden a three-wheeler before, so I have no idea how they handle how you're supposed to ride them, but I'm sure we'll figure it out when we get on there. That's a great way to describe it. It's interesting. <laughs> interesting. An interesting looking vehicle. We're going to take on a, a racetrack, which is really meant for a golf course. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Go on. Can you lead? <laughs> So Kate, okay. yes. what do you think to your golf trike? It's certainly a different experience. I can't say I've ever ridden a golf caddy on a track before. What about you? Is it first for you? I uh, totally agree with you. <laughs> um, I've never ridden one on a track before. Oh, it um, just makes me laugh how you got the slow one. I know, I can't believe that. She's got a faster one than me. I know, well they just knew that I needed the head start, so I think that's why I got this one. <laughs> but I can imagine on a golf course being Quite useful, I suppose, if you're a lazy golfer. Yeah, yeah. You definitely. don't want to walk around. I can see my granddad Don having one of these, yeah. definitely, as he sips his sangria or whatever it is. I'm not much of a golfer, but I think for the purpose of what it's designed for. Yeah. Um, what would you rate the acceleration, Carl? Well, it, it scared me at first. <laughs> it's too fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. torque was incredible. Yeah, so I think these have a top speed of like 30, 33 miles an hour, something like that. I think it's 30. Look, on, it, on the right terrain, what it's meant to be, it's probably a, it's probably a useful thing. Yeah. And we had a bit of fun riding it around, didn't we? Because you had a faster one than me. Now we're taking a few shortcuts, trying to cheat <laughs> yeah. and stuff. But uh, I'm trying to get it on two wheels now and again. Um, yeah, I'm not that brave, to but, be fair. Um, <laughs> so what do you think then? <laughs> well, do you know what? I've not really got any golf caddies to compare it to, but I think as what it is, yeah, why not? You know, it's got to be better than them. Like big white things that you see going around four the courses. Four, four, four wheel ones, yeah. Yeah, get a bit more street cred on this, I think. I could nip to the shops on the way to the golf course and, you know, load up some beers in a cooler in this. So I think I'll give it a four for that. A four? <laughs> yeah, there you for, go. for its intention, definitely. So what have we got here then, Kate? Well, we've got a Zero SRF, which is apparently like a naked roadster, but it is electric. Full electric. Full electric. Mm, I think it looks quite nice. Do you know what it reminds me of? An old Mon Ducati Monster a yeah, bit, with yeah, tubular like, frame and stuff. That's it, but, definitely. Uh, it looks all right. Yeah, I think it looks really good. Um, I love, love that dash. That dash looks really like high tech. It's yeah. like a colour TFT dash. Um, that's a uh, nice bit of kit, really. It's an electric bike. I'm actually excited to ride it. <laughs> I am now. See what it rides like. Let's get it out on track and try it. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you go first. Okay. You warm the tires <laughs> up for me. No worries. <laughs> Easy. <laughs>
How was that for game? I'll tell you what, I'm impressed with that. I'm yeah. out of breath. <laughs> I, was I was really enjoying it, honestly. I thought it was really quick. Yeah, yeah. Really they... quick. I mean, it's not a track day bike, is it? No. But it, it was it was quick. All right, a little bit heavy, a bit, little bit wallowy. Yeah, yeah. Um, brakes felt good on it. Yeah. You know, it's, it is a heavy bike, but <laughs> I was just like... Big smile on my face, I opened it up, it just kept going and going and going and going. Do you know what I like, when you wind it on, how smooth yeah, the yeah. power is? It was oh, smooth, it was loads and loads of torque, yeah. and uh, must have been pleasantly surprised. I kept going for a clutch though, yeah. <laughs> no, obviously no gears, no, yeah. no clutch or anything, but um, I've not been on a track for ages, and no. I obviously don't really do much on tracks anymore, but the, I mean, it's not even a track bike, but I, I really enjoyed that, I thought it was yeah. great. Like, I've ridden it on the road, that's my only experience with this bike, really? and on the road I loved it, I kind of like coined it the silent super Duke because like, even though it's 120 brake horsepower, it doesn't, like, it feels so fast. It like, did feel quick, yeah, yeah. I, I really thought it was just me because I'm old and slow now, no. but uh, <laughs> that's really good. But no, like, I, was, I, loved, um, I loved it on the road and I, I liked it on track as well. Yeah, I was really impressed with that, and uh, yeah, we'll take it back out again, I think. Right, Foggy, so we've got to rate it on acceleration. For me, it shot me. I give it a five. Yeah, Honestly, it was it was really really good. It's fantastic acceleration yeah. for the weight of it as well. For the electric bike, I'm not used to riding them at all. But that was that was that was a big shot, but yeah. nice. Yeah, same. Um, acceleration just off the mark. Just wind it on, and it just shoots it just, it just you goes and goes and keeps yeah. going. But I mean, it might be because I have terrible clutch control, <laughs> so I set off like an amateur. But with that, you just whack it on. Yeah. So, what do you think about the build quality? Yeah, well, it looks great, like I say, it almost reminds me of a Ducati Monster from a few years ago. Um, I'm looking at it now, it doesn't it doesn't offend me in any way, I think it's like a bit of a street fighter look kind of bike in it really, yeah. you know. I, I kind of like um, that fender, like I'm a fan of that, a lot of people don't like it, but I quite think Over the, the back tyre? Yeah, yeah. The back end. No, I'm opposite, yeah, I'd see I'd like a little number plate underneath there, <laughs> yeah, mate, you know. Yeah. little illegal one. Fair enough. <laughs> I like the upside down forks, that's a nice touch. And that was good, and it was the, good. The dash, the quality um, of it looks really clear, you can yeah. see everything. Everything was fine, I'm, I must admit, I didn't expect it to be that good. I'd like to say I'm not really into the e-bike stuff at all, but it's all, it's all going that way. Yeah. Whether we like it or not, you True. know, as a bike overhaul, a little bit heavy. Mm -hmm. But uh, obviously that's to be expected with the batteries, but yeah, power-wise was brilliant and comfort-wise, same, great. Yeah, so out of five, what are you saying, are you having it in your garage? Would you ride it again, but you wouldn't want to own one? It's yeah. a perfect second bike. I definitely ride yeah. it again. And as far as owning, like, I, well, I don't think I've got enough room in the garage for a start. It's got a GS in there and a Jixa. But no, I think as, you know, everything, like you say, is going a bit electric, it'd be great. It's like a yeah. commuter for whipping yeah, yeah, yeah. out. OK, then, what have we got here? Well, it looks like some <laughs> cool off-road vehicles for a track. <laughs> yes, why not? Perfect. Right, I've never ridden one of these before. What about you? Well, I have the Honda version at home yeah. with the fields. Like, it's an old one, about a 2012 one, so these are going to be probably a lot better than what I've got at home. But yeah, yeah they're obviously meant for off-road. They're just mental. They but, just remind um, me of giant jet skis with four wheels. Yeah. I don't know what's going to happen when we go out on track on them, but no. I'm really, I guess we're going to find out. Yeah, I'm really excited to ride it. I've never ridden anything like this. I just I don't know no. how it's going to handle. I hope I don't die. You'll be alright. I suppose it make good content, wouldn't it? But just rev and go, that's it. Put them in D and go forward. Happy days, happy bit of See how we get on. But <laughs> yeah. It is meant to be off-road, but today it's on a track. Yeah. What could yeah. possibly go wrong, as they say? Not going to roll it at all. <laughs> <laughs> let's try them then. Yeah, let's go. Come on, let's do it. Well, that was fun. 
That was so <laughs> good. I did not expect to enjoy it like I did, honestly. I kind of went on there fearing for my life, thinking, how is this going to be? And I just had a blast. This thing was really good, actually. It was quicker than yours, a lot yeah, quicker. Well, it just, this just, is quick enough for it me. It just kept going better. and going and going. And to be honest, they say we're on a track, thinking they'd be hopeless. Yeah. And it just, it was, I was going to start laughing. It. Yeah, it was so good. But I did get a bit carried away. I thought, I'm going to go down the grass, because it's an off-road vehicle. It's going on the grass for them. Yeah. And we got black flags. That's it, yeah. The flag came <laughs> That's the first out. time I've been black flagged in my whole life. <laughs> but, um, but no, it was alright, wasn't it? It was yeah, good. It was such it's a lot better one. than the quad I've got at home anyway, but um, I was to be expected. It's quite old, one, the one I've got, the Honda. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, hell of a piece of kit, these things, but in the right kind of terrain. They're great, you know, off road, going through some rivers and streams and some mountains and whatnot in uh, Scotland or whatever. For, for the farmers, obviously, really. But uh, yeah. on a track day today, it was quite good fun. Yeah, what would you rate the acceleration? Good, good, really good. Yeah, yeah it, just, it just kept going and going and going. It was it great. It surprised me so much. I just didn't expect it. No, just That's... took it in D and it just kept going. Honestly, yeah. it was so quick. I just thought I'd run out of revs, but yeah. no, the acceleration was, uh, was really good. Yeah, it was, it was fast. It surprised me, that's for sure. A little bit wallow on the suspension, but on a, on a track it's going to be. But um, Yeah. And no. I suppose because we're like these different modes, and it's like this one's like got four wheel drive, two wheel drive, and yeah, you well, want to get into the mechanics of it, and I suppose it'd have a different like experience. But we just literally go on the track, give it some weather. Yeah. So I suppose we can only judge it off that. But yeah, yeah it was all good fun, and uh, also I can say really it wasn't in its ideal surroundings, but we what? had a laugh, didn't we? What would you Especially have? getting black flagged. I enjoyed no. that. I made the highlight of my day getting black flagged. That was so flagged. funny. You weren't happy, were you? <laughs> getting flying down, start and finish on the grass. Look, well, yeah. it's an off-road vehicle. Let's try it off-road a little bit. But yeah, would you own one like this one? Like uh, well, I said, I've got a, an old Honda version just yeah. for around the land at home. Would so you swap it for this? I'd swap it for this. Yeah, this is like much, so, much, so much more fun yeah. uh, compared to what I've got. But uh, yeah, definitely, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. On I the right. wouldn't have one of these in my garage really? because I would have no use for it. Um, but if I did, yeah, yeah why not? It's if you've got a farm or a bit of land, yeah, yeah. you know, a little small holding, then you'd have one, wouldn't you? Yeah, 100%. There you 100%. go. Yeah. Oh, good. So, in terms of like ride quality, comfort, you know, what are you thinking? I've got to say, I couldn't really fault it comfort wise. It was, yeah, four or five out of five, to be honest. Um, acceleration, same. I was shocked how quick it was. Yeah. Um, so, acceleration will give it a four slash five. Yeah. Definitely. Ride quality, comfort, we'll give it again for some Yeah, it's very comfortable on this thing. And then aesthetics, what what do you, like, how well, it looks, what do you think? How it looks? I think it looks alright. I think it looks really modern and futuristic. Yeah, it's a bit futuristic. It's Yours looks a bit more classy looking, I think, really. Mine's elegant. Yeah, this yeah. is like, like I say, a bit of a spaceship looking thing, but yeah. three out of five, maybe, for yeah. looks? Yeah, I'd agree, both of them for me, three okay. out of five. Well, look at these little yes. whippers. <laughs> Two more e-bikes. Yeah, so electric. Ducati. I think. Do you, look at that. That's his racing heritage. <laughs> uh, back on track again on a Ducati. Not Love exactly it. the Ducati mm. I was hoping to get back on track on, but. No, it's not quite um, tasty V4 or anything like that. Apparently, these two are, are the same equivalent to like a 50cc mm -hmm. uh, moped, so that looks like a bigger bike, a faster bike. But. Yeah. I'll take the Ducati so you've out. Got, yeah, you take the Ducati, <laughs> live your best life, and you I'll take, take the other the little Super Soco out. Yeah. So e bikes. This the... one is a, a TSX, and that one is a CUX. So one is a scooter, obviously, one is more of a bike style. But it's supposed yeah. to be about the same speed, eh? Yeah. So uh, I'll All see right. if I can shake you on the track. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> You'll be in my slipstream, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try them out then. Let's give them a go. Right, well, we've just come back in off these. 
How did you find it, Carl? It was great to be back on the Ducati again on track. <laughs> yeah. Not exactly as, uh, as fast as Ducati I've ever ridden, but... Um, at least it's probably the slowest. Yeah, yeah. It was <laughs> good fun, record. actually, to be fair. I mean, I thought, looking at them, yours are going to be mm. faster, but they're exactly the same speed. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was fun. He accelerated. I mean, the e-bikes do accelerate quick, they must admit. They do, yeah. Seems to have a lot of torque, even for a little... What are scooters, really? So acceleration was... Yeah. It was really good, surprisingly. Yeah. Um, we just had a laugh that we, yeah, we followed each other around, really slipstreaming each other. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, it's funny thing is that I, sim I saw one of these on the back of a, a motorhome on the mm. way down here yesterday, and that's yeah. kind of what you you could use them for when you, you go off camping or whatever, your motorhomes, your caravans, and yeah. you get one of these out the back and that, and head off down to the shop to get uh, some milk if you run out that's of milk it. or something. So. Uh, I think a lot of people do like staycations nowadays because yeah. like traveling is a bit difficult. And for commuting around town yeah. to work in, in the cities and, and whatnot, I think I think they're great for that really to be honest. Yeah. No, I definitely agree. Mm. They look cracking, don't they? Yeah, it looks great. Um, really modern and funky. Yeah, everything works fine on it. So one out of five. One to five, sorry, on what looks. Um, so we'll start with acceleration. Acceleration. Well, I thought for what it is, I thought it was brilliant on acceleration, I'd give it four out of five. Yeah, I'd, I'd be inclined to agree. Yeah, they um, are. electric bikes are just nippy off the line, aren't they? Brilliant off the line, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Comfort, ride quality, what are you saying? I was dead comfy, my little Ducati yeah. was dead. <laughs> really comfy. Um, could just see me selling the out at shops on that and get a pint of milk. Yeah. That was spot on, comfort, yeah. four out of five. Really cool, I, I, yeah, I'd probably agree, you know, four out of five, not uncomfy, nice riding position, particularly on this, I can't speak for that one, but yeah. I've ridden one of them before, so they are comfy, but... No, it's fine. Yeah, it's a nice neutral position, no backache, no nothing. In terms of aesthetics, uh, I think they're just funky looking things, really futuristic. They do look cool, don't they? Yeah. yeah, I'd say again, four out of five, it look really cool, especially the Ducati, Ducati branding <laughs> that um, they've got with... Super Soco, how they managed to do that, I think it's amazing that Ducati yeah. have, have, have given them the, the, right, the agreement to do yeah. that. Is um, you know they obviously trust them, so um, yeah, four out of five for me. You can just imagine them like our Ducati branded, like in paddocks and yeah, yeah. stuff like that. Yep. Yeah, I think they're a pretty cool little thing. Yep, good all around. Would Can't, you own uh, one? Would you have one in your garage? Yeah, I want one now. Yeah, <laughs> you definitely. Do. Yeah, yeah. I can see you full weathers round town. In that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Back on the Ducati in round town. Yeah. Perfect. I would definitely have one. Definitely. Yeah. No, I'd have one as well. Right, okay, so okay. a couple more Super Socos yes, to um, try out. I think they're a bit they're more of a, like a 125 version of what brothers, we just rode yeah. before, like the little Ducati more more, like, more like a 50, these are 125. So. Yeah, so it should be fun, always like endorse more power. So yeah, it should be Which good. Which one do you fancy? The um, moped looking one, are they? Well, because you went out on oh, yeah, yeah. moped you last time. I'm going to take, yeah, just for an experience. All right, I'll go out on the Street Fighter one then. <laughs> yeah, TT Max. <laughs> Let's no, do it. should it. be good. They look all right, they look pretty futuristic and cool, don't they? Yeah. This looks cool. Yeah, should Feel be good. It. Should be good. Let's go. Look at that. Nice and boingy. <laughs> Let's do it. that? Alright. Yeah. I mean I, similar uh, to before but obviously a bit more power. Yeah yeah. I liked it, I love it. The position of it was really nice. You can imagine just, you know being on the road on it around town, really comfy. Yeah definitely. Um, and just that bit more power, a bit more torque. Yeah. Um, they can't really fault it really, did everything you kind of asked of it. About the same speed as yours it seemed again. Yeah definitely. So. I think in terms of acceleration, quite similar to the last two we've been out on, but obviously just a faster bike in general. Yeah. But still accelerate, you know, just as well. Um, what would you give it out of five for that? Again, with the these e-motors, they just, they just pull up, like you wouldn't believe, off the mark. So yeah, four out of five, definitely, yeah. for me. Definitely um, the comfort of that one, because last really time comfy. you rode a scoot. <laughs> so. Yeah, I love the comfort of that. Lovely position on that one, really, really comfy. Definitely four out of five again for me on that one. Definitely. Yeah. I think I'd probably give that like a four out of five, maybe not a five because you've got the screen so it protects you from all rain. Obviously we've not got that today thankfully, but right. I can imagine as a the, commuter. The screen not kind of getting your way a little bit though sometimes. I personally don't like looking no, through, I don't a like through a screen. No, I don't like looking through a screen. But 
I, I sell motorbikes for a living, so I get a lot of people that like they the screens the screen, and they yeah. want the screen, so I can see its appeal. Okay. But for me, I don't really. For the bad like weather it. as well, that's what it, I guess the screen would be good. Yeah, it's going to shelter you a little bit. Your legs are quite protected on the scoot as well. Yeah. So on the CPX, which is nice. Um, and how do, they, how do you think they look? I really think the one that I rode looks really funky from the front with the like <laughs> LED lights. I think it looks a bit futuristic. Yeah, I'm going to say the same sort of word for that one, futuristic, um, yeah. kind of a very contemporary, modern looking thing. And yeah, I think it looks pretty pretty good, really. Yeah. Four out of five-ish for me. Yeah, you I'd reckon? say the same, yeah. All good. Look okay then. <laughs> An electric Harley. I never thought no, those no, words no, would no. come out of your mouth. Same, same. <laughs> But it looks like a Harley, doesn't it? It's that kind of style you'd associate with being a Harley, so. Yeah, I feel like it's as Harley-esque as they could have gone with an electric bike. I guess so, yeah. You know what I mean? Looks a beast, looks an handful. It does. On track, anyway. Yeah, I can't wait to sort of see how it feels, because it looks like it's going to be a big heavy lump, but I wonder how. I'm sure it is. Yeah, I wonder how it'll <laughs> Do you want me to stick it out first this time? Yeah, you can warm the tires <laughs> All right, up. Yeah. I'll warm the tires up for you, girl. Yes, please Don't worry. Do. But no, it, um, it looks mint and yeah, I can't wait to get on it. Let's do it. That was an experience. Uh, that I was, was something else. I mean, it's so quick off the mark again. Um, yeah. I don't know. It was as fast as I mean. I'm not shocked anymore because every e-bike I've rode today, the, yeah. the power off the mark is unreal. But I felt the throttle could kept going and going and going. Yeah, that it's thing. just like ongoing forever. But um, yeah, yeah it, it looks like a Harley. It is a Harley. Yeah. Um, this is the only Harley in my life that I've ever got my knee down on, so that's it. Did you? Yeah. You did better than I did then. Hey. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> yeah, around the hairpin. No, I felt stranger on it in corners because, again, because it's, it's a Harley, it's yeah. that kind of com I mean, comfort wise. I thought it was a really comfy bike. Yeah, very comfy. On the track bike, it, obviously, I wasn't, it wasn't right for me to, to get in, in, in the corners with. Uh, yeah. Power wise, it was amazing. What do you think then? So, for acceleration, I'd probably give it a like. I'd say four. four. I'd give it a five if I didn't experience that like that little bit of strange juddering. I'd but, yeah. say four power wise. Um, Very fast. Looks well. It looks like a Harley, so yeah. I'd say four again. Yeah, I'd be inclined to say for me like maybe a five because like Harley Davidson, you think it's going to look like a tractor, but they really pulled it out of the bag. It doesn't look like one of those. It looks quite modern. It's like a posh and tractor. Yeah, posh tractor, upper class. <laughs> But yeah, so I, I'd go for five on that. Um, and then comfort and rideability. It was quite comfy. Yeah, I found it very comfy. The seat's quite nice. Um, Bar's in a good position. Yeah. Maybe not for hanging off like a demon. No, not, not on a, ra on a racetrack, <laughs> no, but... I think I'd really enjoy this on the road, to be fair. No, I'd go for a four. Genuinely enjoyed it. Good. Um, the final what? bike of the day. <laughs> what is this? Something a bit different than what we've been riding. I was not expecting this to be put in front of us, I won't lie. Triumph E push bike. That's why we're on the go kart track. Yeah, maybe. Might, might take a while to get around the normal race track. Yeah, it would take me 24 hours, no lie. What do you like on these things? I don't ride push bikes. I do, I do so I should be alright. Yeah, the last time I rode a push bike, I think I was about 11 years old, and I ripped my little fingernail off, <laughs> and I've not touched them since. Well, then, yeah. I'll. Uh, You'll have to show me how it's check it out done. first. I'll, I'll go first then. Are we timing each other or what? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I mean, I know who's going to win, but why not? Give it well, a go. If I don't, it'd be embarrassing, won't it? Come oh, on, man. Let's do it. Right, you first. Okay, so three, <laughs> two, one, go. Oh, I'm out of gear. Go on. Go on, foggy. Is 
7.60. What a guy. Oh, I'm knackered. It's a good time, that. It's a good time. The legs. <laughs> no assist at all. Should we just set off? Oh, On your marks. I'm not a thoroughbred racer. Get set. Yeah. Go. Ah, come on, Kate. You can do it. You <laughs> should go for it. Ah, oh my God, I think my front back will go quicker. Come on. Come on. Oh. Two. Ah. <laughs> I'm done. Ooh. Stick a fork in me. I'm done. 55.9. What? What is it? 55.9. Oh, it's embarrassing. You're right there. You're right, girl. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I went first. I'm still out of breath. <laughs> Honestly, I was <clears throat> so unfit, but that was so much fun. Well, the thing is, you've only got the assist to like 15 mile an hour because they're restricted. Mine's the same back home, so yeah. should you set off, you're on your own. Yeah. Down to your own leg power. Oh man, so. I have not done a workout like that in a while. <laughs> I can't even talk, fog it. I'm just too out of breath. Right, well, what was the time then? Um, I think you got, I want to say 47.60. Oh, you did a 55.9. That is shocking, isn't that? <laughs> no, you didn't actually. I, well, I thought it might have been further front, but you did well. You did good. With special <laughs> leathers on. I know, yeah. You did, <laughs> you did it really well. well. What would you give it an acceleration? Oh, God, one. <laughs> so with me on it, I'd give it a minus seven. Because <laughs> no, uh... I ain't got any go in me. Um, but yeah, so you felt it did assist you a little bit. It but... does assist you a little bit, yeah. but I can see see a market for it for you. Little old men like me, soon. <laughs> nipping out to the shop to get a drink. I don't know where we go out to the pub. Because where I live, it's all a pill. So right, right. So that's why I've got the e-bike really at home. But, uh, Oh, I don't know. It's, it is what it is. Aesthetically, it's, it's quite classy looking. Yeah, it's kind of got that kind of classic old fashioned look, I suppose, which is kind of going for. Yeah, yeah. But. Oh, push bikes, electric bikes like this yeah. just aren't for me in general. I need to get fitter and get on them more. But yeah, it's, it's good fun. It's all right. I've not done it before. So. Still six of proper bikes on proper tracker. Yeah, Come definitely. On, let's go. Back let's over go. There. Let's go. <laughs>